Welcome back, guys. So you can see today's test drive is a 1979 little red express truck. We're up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and we sell classic cars pretty much every day. You can check our website out, maplemotors.com. It has financing and shipping available for you. And of course, we like to go over these rides and point out the flaws and tell you everything we can find. Be sure to hit subscribe. Let's get started. These trucks originally came with 360s. This one is a real Little Red Express, but it has a 318 currently under the hood. This one also has power steering and power brakes. Nice, smooth running motor. And it was the fastest production vehicle at its time. It was actually outrunning Corvettes at the time. All right, guys. So we're getting ready to take off here. Don't forget to hit subscribe, share, hit like. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. All right, so before we take off, let's look around the interior. Go ahead and place your bets. You think that horn works? I don't know, man. <laughs> Coming across the dash. It's a little dry there. It's got a nice crack right here in the glove box. Looking around the interior, the carpet has been changed out. It's in decent shape. The seats look great. Door panels, lights still working, headliner, visors. Let's turn her on. Seems like she's giving them got a little flooding going on there. Still got her started up good there. Let's look around on the dash. We got wipers and they work. Uh, let's try the AC. It definitely sounds like it kicked on under the hood, but all I'm feeling is heat, so it's not cold. I got a cargo light button on the back. Let's turn the turn signals on. Popping up in the middle of the dash on both sides. Looks like the alternator gauge is working. Fuel, yeah, let's get out of here and get some fuel real quick. Oil pressure's definitely not working. Temp is about halfway, so we'll keep an eye on that. And it's showing 17,000 miles. Hard to stand behind that, a 79 model, but hey. Horn? Yeah, that horn's not even a horn. It's just a piece of foam <laughs> let's hit the road let's see if she runs and drives all right open up the window here get the pant leg going on <laughs> we're gonna hit the road anything i see i will let you know check our brakes before we leave here stopping good Here we go, guys. Waiting on a little bit of traffic to pass by. See a little bit of white smoke puffing out. Seems to be shifting pretty good. It's going straight as an arrow down the road. No issues there. A little bit of slack in the steering, but it's turning there and it's turning there. So that's not bad at all. is hooked up and again I see a little bit of white smoke coming out when I get on it and I will be showing you that once we drive by it I'll rev up kind of show you the pipes and stuff and let you see what's going on the brakes the brakes are good speedometer is coming up on the dash running quite smooth that pedal feels pretty good on the brakes 
Let's start in the gas station here. We're gonna get about you know twenty dollars worth of fuel, and of course we'll keep this video rolling. All right, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, a little over twenty dollars worth of fuel put in the gas here, right here on the side. Just take the cap off. Put it down in there, and let's check that gas gauge. Make sure it works. Is that gonna click? There it goes. See what we got here. So your gas gauge was buried on E. Slowly coming up. Looks like we're working. So we got a working gas gauge here. Good deal. All right, let's take off. Let's go ahead and head back to the lot now. Here we go. Y'all look pretty good on the camera here. If you want, look below in the description. You can see uh, all the stuff that I used to make this video. You can see all the information about this truck. And of course, our merchandise. All right, here we go, guys. So far, so good on everything. This little truck runs great.
nice and smooth going down the road. She pulls good. Steering's nice and straight, brakes feel good. Now we're right around the corner from the car lot. Of course, I'm gonna be doing another test drive here. You can see the little puffs of smoke. It's not doing it at idle, but it did when we first rolled up. And I guess since we're gonna be waiting on the light, I'm gonna go ahead and skip over to picking out the flaws. It's the portion of the video where we're looking at chips, scratches, flaws all around the body. Don't forget to look at the detailed pictures. Guys, I thank you for watching. Hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, here we go. Getting ready to walk around this ride. Point out chips, scratches, dents, rust, whatever I could find so you know what you're getting. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com and let's get started here. Coming around on the front bumper here, it's in pretty good shape. There's a little ding right here. You know, it does have light scuffs on it, showing a little bit of age. Around the grill there, you got light scuffs on the edge. Some up top too. On the side here as well. Coming down the side. And over. The tires look a little edge worn on this one. See how the inside's good and the outside here. Definitely going bald. Coming down this side. Little chips on the edge of the door there. Little chip here in the back. Light rust popping up there around that bolt. Chips right here. The fender here, you could see it's hazy on top. A little flat. Need some wax. See the oxidation. Wood looks good. Got chips back here. A few little chips on the bed there. Spot there. Around the door handle here. Also around that lock. And you can see it definitely has some oxidation in the paint. Touch up mark there. Chips on top of that fender there as well. Look it over your front windshield. Trim around it. See it's kind of flaky. Also a few chips here on this edge. Up over the top. You got some spots, sunspots on the roof there.
Back window looks pretty good on this one. Chips around in that edge. Chip right up here. I thought I was going down. <laughs> All right, coming around the back. A little hazy on the bumper, light scuffs here, light scratches. You got some chips around that tailgate up here as well. So back here. Looking around in the bed here. See the wood's got a like crack. It's not all the way through though. Still solid. Coming down this side. Again, lower portion first. Back tires good shape. Little spots back here. You got a dent down here in the bottom of that cab. Chips on the edge. Chip there as well. There's a dent up here in the front of the door. Allergies kicking up, pollen floating around everywhere today. For example, I had to wipe this truck off. We just washed it last night. It was covered this morning in pollen. Little spot there. Break out the flow nays. Little stains behind the emblem there. It's like some dimples in the middle of the front fender. Chip here. Hazy on top of this one, just not as bad. Chip here. Little chip there. Also right here. You can see paint's a little thin on top, but got that black trying to come through. Chip there. You also got some chips right here on the door there. They got some overspray on some of that rubber. Your trim piece there. You can see the older glass. Oh, dirt up there, chips, and some sun damage. Okay, so we made it around the rod now. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the interior and then we'll get her started up Door panel if anything just needs to be cleaned up a little bit better steam clean that But it's not ripped up. It looks pretty good You got chips along that edge there down the bottom a 
Seal looks good in the door jam there. Carpet, it's actually in pretty good shape. The seat's not tore up at all, matches the door panels. Inside the cab here looks pretty good. The dash, uh, they did paint this, you can tell. It's like rattle canned, just right there on those inserts. Face of the radio is in the office. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> what is that? What model is it? That's 79. 79. Yeah. I thought it was about a six to four. No? I got it hooked up. <laughs> I like them pipes on there. I know. A little Red Express. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Okay. Yeah, he's pretty nice. I usually try to hide, but I'm behind the church, so of course. It's going to get some attention. Pretty much any of these cars we bring back here. But it's better than being out by Main Street. Everybody pull in. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start her up now. Did notice the carb was flooding out. I'm still not touching the gas. It's going to start this time. We'll give her some gas. There we go. I have noticed it's doing that. Could be a float stick in. Something simple but it always seems to start right up. Just gonna need a little bit of maintenance on that carburetor. The door is kind of sticking there too. Right there. Grease that up and that'll fix that problem. It just looks a little dry. Quiet motor. Right there, smushed down. It's not leaking. Definitely had to pressure applied to it. Under the hood, this looks good, nice and clean. Edge of that hood, there's some chips. Shut's easy. So I noticed only puffs of smoke will come out when you're revving it up real high. Uh, it's not doing it all the time. It's not doing it normally when you're just driving down the road. You gotta get down on it, the chip there. But it was something that I seen and I want you to know about it before you get here. I don't want you to get here and drive it down the road and be like, where's that? What is that? No, I tell you about it. That's why I make these videos. I give you undercarriage shots, point out chips, scratches, flaws, rust we can find, let you hear that motor. And if you do have any other questions, you can always give us a call. We'll talk to you about it. As long as you've watched the video and seen the detailed pictures, that's all we recommend. You can also get financing and shipping at maplemotors.com. And if you hit subscribe, you can see videos of me doing test drives on all these classics. It also helps me out, and I thank you in advance. Guys, I appreciate it. I'll see you later.